Uh, welcome back to the show. I am your host, Dan Edwards. I'm joined with our good friend, Tucker Maxwell, Guild Mortgage. Tucker, what'd you do this weekend? Did you climb that mountain? You know, I climbed a few of them, um, but weather's been kind of weird uh, recently. So we're staying in the lowland cascades versus going up, up high. So, okay. So that's right. It's been two weeks. So you, yeah. you, um, what'd you, what'd you do? We've, we've tackled mailbox and size so far this year, um, just based on snow levels. Gotcha. Okay. So how was mailbox? Was it snowy or no? No, I mean, spotty at the very, very top, but no, it's, it's gone. Well, for those of you that are just watching and you don't know what we're talking about, these are um, some pretty awesome hikes uh, on the east side. Mailbox is about, what is it, 20 minutes out of, uh, it's not even, it's maybe 10 minutes out of uh, North Bend? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I consider North Bend. Both uh, Sai and uh, yeah. are in the North Bend area. Um, probably didn't get any great views because of the snow or the clouds, right? Yeah, it was. it's spotty, you know, the partly cloudy, you get glimpses, but they cover, it fills in real quick. So um, any any comments on my Real Talk segment with the numbers that I was talking about? Uh, no, it, it, it makes sense. I think that the important thing is, you know, showing. So, you know, preparing listings is key, doing it the right way. So you get eyes on the property, which should lead to great, great results. But also from the buyer's standpoint is, you know, be prepared, um, be ready to shop um, ahead of time. So that way when the home hits the market, you're prepared to go view it and potentially make an offer because that they're getting showings. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the, the truth of the matter is, is I don't see a real tangible end in sight for inventory numbers. So, you know, uh, thinking that sometime, you know, next year things are going to be better. I, I'm, I mean, you got interest rates going to be working against you as well as uh, consistent demand. The, the, the fact remains is we're going to have some consistent demand. All right. So let's get into your topic today. Uh, last week were some inflation numbers. Um, instead of the podcast, I went to a Mariners baseball game. So that was fun. Um, so kind of walk us through what happened last week. Yeah. So we got the April consumer price index number last week. Um, and it was exactly what all the experts were predicting is they they're looking for inflation to begin slowing down the rate at which it's increasing. And it did exactly that. The report showed that April consumer price index numbers increased by 0.3%. So while it was still an increase, it wasn't to the tune as it's been where it's been much higher than that. And it brought the annual rate of inflation down to 3.6%. And the target is 2%. So what it showed was that the Fed did nothing. They didn't raise rates. They didn't, you know, manufacture a change. They're just noticing that the previous increases are taking effect and that the economy is slowing down. So that was really good um, uh, news. And it bolstered the, the market's anticipation and hopes that the Fed will cut rates. And so now we're seeing a very high probability that they will cut rates in September. And so that's the first good news that we've heard so far this year. That's really pointed to a high probability of them cutting rates. Um, we still have some other data that's going to come out. That's going to further support that. And if it does, we could be looking at a hundred percent probability of a rate cut in September. So, uh, and rate cut in September may have that desired effect, but that's probably only if we see the numbers in inflation either stay the same or get better. Um, and the consumer price index stay the same or get better. Exactly. Yeah. And the one that they really like is the personal consumption, consumption expenditures, which really talks to, you know, consumer spending habits. And that's what they want to see are, are consumers slowing down? You know, are they, are they slowing their spending because prices are up or because they're feeling it somewhere else? Um, and that's, you know, that may, while that may not be great for our retail companies, it's good for the Fed and is showing that the economy is slowing down and that they can take their foot off the, the increases and potentially bring them down. OK, so what did you see as a result, maybe in the last couple of weeks with mortgage applications? Any uptick, any change? I know interest rates just kind of bopped a little bit. They didn't do much. But what did you see? Yeah, we, we, we definitely saw an increase in mortgage applications. Um, we a lot of that was refinance applications. You have a lot of people that, you know, bought October, November 2022 into 2023. Um, and so those consumers are hyper focused on the interest rates. And so they want to refinance as quickly as possible to bring down those payments. So we saw an uptick in refinance applications, but in purchases as well. Um, 
interest rates last week dipped below the 7% mark. And so there was a lot of headlines about, you know, interest rates at four month lows or the lowest rates we've seen this year or rates under seven, just some good publicity around interest rates, which led to consumer demand and put them submitting applications. Awesome. Well, awesome, Tucker. Um, anything else you want to add as far as we were talking about what to do to get prepared, get pre-approved? Did you want to go into that? Yeah, I, I think it's just important to remember that you want to start this process earlier than you may think. A lot of people may be on the fence and say, hey, I'm going to wait for interest rates to come down. But as you've alluded to is demands there. And for every you know notch down that interest rates come, it brings more buyers in the market. There's a lot of people that come to us, especially in the Seattle market, and they want to qualify for a certain dollar amount of purchase price, and maybe they're not there. And as that rate comes down, they qualify for the home they want to buy, they're going to rush back into the market, which is going to increase demand, it's going to increase prices. And so it, it's going to cause you to move quicker. And so what we're telling people is the right time to apply is before the rates come down, get all your ducks in a row and be prepared. So it, when they come down, you're already pre-approved. You're already shopping with Dan Edwards. You're looking at homes and you can make an offer very quickly. Yeah, very good. All right, cool. Great information, Tucker. Uh, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Um, you can obviously reach out to Tucker via his cell phone at 425-75-79202. Um, we're going to continue this discussion. We're joining us will be uh, Linda Deppa uh, with Uncluttered Northwest. Join us right after this short commercial break.